here it is and I have the white it comes in two colors uh, black or white so mine is white and um, other things you get you get a cleaning brush which is nice and then it has this little envelope with this uh, all the manuals come in uh, pretty nice the first thing that you see is this is like a little quickie thing to just remind you when you're loading up this thing here they call the hopper uh, the, it starts from the bottom up that you want to try to do uh, li your leafy greens and your softer stuff so it's pretty easy from soft to hard so that uh, it'll um, be most efficient with um, juicing everything up so that's nice then there's also here I really liked it this was very helpful I like that it's mainly in photographs with very little text the photographs really uh, work better than just a whole bunch of words you have to go through and when you're looking at the picture it's just so much easier to be able to figure it out when you look at the picture so the quick start guide is is excellent then it comes with uh, a more involved manual and also this is really good it's a recipe book this is especially nice if you're brand new to juicing so that's nice it's nice there's a nice photograph that goes with it so so it's really um, a nice uh, manual and everything like that so let's go ahead and take a look at the components here this is where the um, pulp goes that's the pulp jug uh, very nice hard heavy-duty um, so uh, you, you definitely feel the quality on that and then here for the uh, juice jug you have a nice handle and you have here it's easy to kind of pour it out in these little corners okay and then here you have basically you have your uh, motor part and then this is uh, where everything's <laughs> the, the top part this is a close-up of uh, where you operate it you'll see reverse right now it's pointing at the off button so you can just turn it on just just one speed if in the event you ever have anything jams up and it just like isn't doing anything that's where you hit the reverse it then turns in the other direction and unjams it and then once it's unjammed they go ahead and put it back on the on the on button and look this is where all the action takes place on this part here um, now this they have little things here where you can see where you turn it you have lock and unlock so you just turn it lift it straight up and this here I think you pop just like that and that releases the top oh that's like the pusher which you may not necessarily need that much on this juicer so that's the here you can see that and this is uh, basically looks like something that turns the veggies around so that it gets them to go down into here because this doesn't really cut it up, this just turns, this little sweeping thing turns the veggies around and kind of pushes them so that they will go down into this area. And then there, you can see how that locks, unlocks. So that's pretty good. Um, and there's the bottom part. And then here, if you ever had to where you really overloaded and you're like trying to get everything, you can just push it down just to kind of get it going. And here's the main section. Uh, this is where the pulp comes out and this is where the juice comes out. I like that there is this little, uh, little latch here. So this is especially helpful when your juice jug is full. You want to... Um, pour it into another container then you can when your juice comes out you do that and this will prevent from any kind of little juice dripping down onto your countertop here it is on the top and the bottom here and this is your little grinder here that's your grinder um, Oh, all right. And 
then this is your, um, your filter. So after it grinds it out, this is where then it separates it. See that up close. So let me show you this bottom part. Here it is here. This is all the stuff, you know, just so you can see, like this is how it takes, it comes apart and you're going to need to clean it, these areas. So, um, oh, 16 ounces. Okay, that's, that's a lot of juice. And it does come with another filter. This is a second filter it comes with. So here, you have this one, and you have this one. And pretty clear to see that this one, the holes are much bigger. This is your regular one you'd want to use when you want juice and you don't want any kind of pulp at all. This is, um, actually this is pretty interesting. Cause usually you, when you want to make a smoothie, you use a blender. Uh, but a blender can take things and heat it up, heat up your produce and uh, because it goes at high speed. So this actually gives you the, the ability to be able to make a, a smoothie without heating up your veggies uh, because it'll let uh, some of the pulp go, go through, not all of it. Um, and uh, that'll be interesting. It's, it's a nice, nice item that they've added to this. I have it cleaned up. I am going to do a mean green juice. Um, and I've got all the stuff here. I'm not sure if all of this will fit into this, but I'm going to see. Um, so let's, uh, to open this, there's a little lever right here that whoop, pops. See that? Pops open. Now, you want to start with the uh, leafy greens on the bottom. Next, I'm going to do softer stuff like the cucumber. Uh, got my lemon. And now we're getting, up. Oh, there's another piece of that. And then now we're getting to the, uh, harder stuff. Now we're going to turn it on and see what happens. And now it goes. Now it does come with a pusher, which you can push down. Um, let's see if I have to actually use the pusher or not. I don't know. But uh, let's see. Okay, already uh, right here. I'm seeing juice. Oh, juice coming out. Oh, yeah. Look at that, and I don't have, not once, am I needing to, to push it down with my Omega. I love my Omega, but uh, it's got a little tiny little feeding chute, and I'm always having to do that. And now I'm just loving that I'm sitting back and just watching it. And wow, this thing is, um, the juice is looking great. I'm noticing very, very, very little foam. Uh, some people are real picky about that. If you don't like foam, this one's got very little of it. Yeah! Seems like it's doing fine, no struggle. And I really packed that in. Because I've decided I want to choose everything in one shot. I don't want to reload at all. So I could be off getting a shower or something right now if I have to go out while this makes me my juice. See here that it's now like about a third of it's left. Uh, very quiet. I'm liking that as well. It's not like a centrifugal juicer because when I ever use those, the, my cats start running. They don't like it. Um, yeah. Oh, looks like it's almost done. This actually is quieter than my Omega. Um, which is surprising because Omega is very, very quiet. So I like that. The sound quiet level is the sound is great because it's very little. 
and okay so it looks like it's gone through the stuff I'm just gonna leave it on just a little bit more um, and I think that's about it let us take a look at the pulp and here we go looks very well you don't see any moisture you don't see any liquid that's to say there's absolutely no liquid rolling around on the bottom of this and uh, we do have some uh, things I juice that are pretty high uh, liquid content which would be the cucumber and the apples and stuff but if I was to probably just do the kale this would be way drier um, although that is pretty dry just trying to just a little bit of stuff coming out not much um, definitely no solid tr uh, chunks which is which is also a, a, a nice thing uh, so no solid chunks definitely no liquid and, uh, in the bottom and you'd really have to squeeze it hard for anything to to come out so that's I'm very happy with now let's take a look at the juice part oh I like this so my other juices I've used in the past let's say your typical centrifugal juicer they don't usually have these so you can do that so when you move this you do not have juice dripping down onto your countertop now let's take a look all right uh, foam very minimal uh, nice bright green color uh, oh the temperature some people are really into well, how much it heat up let's see temperature is 65 65 um, that's pretty chilly willy I think which means that it did not heat up the veggies let's see how well it you can just pour it on the edge here. Uh huh. Put that back. And as you see, very, very little foam. Wow. I just, uh, this is definitely what I would call a game changer. This whole thing of loading it up, and especially in the morning or whatever you're doing, you can go uh, do something on your computer while you're. Um, uh, juicing you can uh, take a shower and all that other good stuff I actually have cleaned this before and the cleanup on this is really easy uh, so I highly recommend this I mean I'm just thrilled that I got it <laughs> uh, so that's it thank you for watching my video and I'll see you next time